In the last tutorial, we have talked about addition, subtraction, multiplication and division of integers. What if I want to add two numbers like one is 15.5, so let's say one is 15.5 and another is 5.5. .5. Now in order to add these two numbers, int will not work. It's because when you say 5.5, .5, it's two different numbers. One is your mint, uh, it's your before a point and after the point, right? So int only supports integer number, it doesn't support real number. To work with real number, C offers you one more data type, is called as float. So 5.5 .5 will be also a float and the addition of both, so I have to say plus, the addition of both will be again float. And then we can say the addition, so the addition of this number and this number is this, right? So this is num1, num2 and result. But hold on, when I, when I, uh, when I first started with this person D sign, I have told you that it works only with int. And yes, person D only works with int. In order to work with a float, we have to use person F and f that may represent float. And now if I run this, the addition of 15.5 and 5.5 .5 is 21, right? Again, we are getting some uh, zeros is because float gives you, float, the size of float is four bytes. So it will try to cover the remaining part in, the, in those zeros. So this is how we have to work with float variable. So now we know what is int variable and, and we know what is float variable. Now let's change the example a bit. Let me just, uh, uh, instead of this, let me go with a new file. It's a new file. We'll save it as uh, cademo.c. Now there's one more data type called as a uh, character. So we'll see how to use character now. So we, we'll say hash include studio.h and hash include coneio.h and we'll say main function and this main function will will use a character variable. We'll say char c. Now, what this char char means? It it supports only one character at a time, and the size of char is one byte, which comes out to be it's eight bits. Uh -oh. It comes out to be eight bits. Okay. So now, when you want to assign a value to character, you can directly assign value as let's say, we'll say a or c equal to, we want to say c equal to a, a is a character here. But when you work with these characters, you have to enclose your characters in single quote. For string, it is double quote, for integers and float, no need of uh, double quotes or single quotes. But when you work with character, you have to mention single quote. Then we have to clear the screen, so we'll say clear screen. And somewhere down the line, we have to say get ch. So we'll say get ch. And in between, I will print the value of C now. So how to print, we'll use printf. And here, we have to mention something and the value, the variable we have to print is C. If your C, if it is int, we say person %d. If this is float, we say percent %f. If it is character, we have to use percent %c. Percent %c represents character. Now if you run this file, the output is A. But let's say what happens if by mistake, if I type D here. So it should give me an error, right? So we are expecting an error, error here. And when I run this, oh, it's giving me a value. Now why only 65, why not some other value? Uh, let me do some prediction. If A is 65, what, if, what about B then? Oh, it's 66. If you can see some pattern here, if I say, obviously if I see C, it should be 67 and bingo, we are getting 67. That means every character will have some type of value. And these values are called as ASCII value. Now what ASCII stands for, it is American. So A is American Standard Code for Information Interchange. That means every character will have a key, a, a, a value, okay? Now what if I have, instead of capital C, if I have a, a, if I have a small a, now if I put in the value of C, it will be 97 because the value for small c is 97. So your capital value starts with, a capital letter starts with A, 
which is 90, uh, 65 and your small a starts with 97. Yeah, so this is how you have to work with characters. Again, in, uh, further we'll write a, uh, uh, a code which will print all the ASCII values of all the characters. For that we have to cover lots of things that, that we'll see in the next part.